We were operating at that time. This would be the uh, two divisions, one out of Catlo, and uh, the other one was out of Fuqua Island in Anvil. And they rendezvoused off of a river called the Bodet. And we had an LST off shore with uh, Navy uh, helicopter support. And uh, the tactical command at that time was under the, the commander of the Coastal Surveillance Force out of Anthoy, a Coast Guard uh, captain, uh, commander at that time. But uh, he had the tactical command and I was aboard the, the LST primarily just to, to observe what was going on. I did not take tactical command. But uh, the boats got underway and it wasn't long after, and the boats, by the way, I should report, uh, point out, were loaded with uh, South Vietnamese Marines. And the overall command of them was by a U.S. Marine captain. And uh, the intent was to put them ashore. But before they got ashore, they were ambushed by, uh, we would estimate to be a company size North Vietnamese. The boats were being shot up pretty badly. And uh, of course, we picked this up on the radio. And uh, in the interim, though, we had one boat that we held back because it wasn't turning up the RPM. We wanted to all of them have maximum speed capability. Well, on this boat was a lieutenant by the name of Groves, who was a good fighter and well, good reputation. But I gave him orders. I said, look, you take this in, there is a contingent of, of army at the mouth. You take this because it, the boat, someone had forgot to transfer, had the UDT uh, explosives you take it in there and you drop it, and one of the other boats come back and pick it up. I don't want you going up that river. Well, in the meantime, this ambush occurred. Of course, he got his radio on. He heard all of this, and uh, he ignored my orders completely. He's going up there to help out. And on the way up, he was the last one to have to go through this ambush. Well, they really clobbered. And uh, he was killed instantly. The boat went out of control. Went up on the beach. Cap rolled over, and they were pinned down. I'm not going to go into a lot of details, but one thing that does stand out: that the twin 50 caliber machine gunner on there. He couldn't do anything because the boat was over on its starboard side. You couldn't depress the weapon. And I'm sure what I'm not even sure it was still in the cradle anyway. But he went ahead and he grabbed the M60 and he went up forward of the bow and set up a flanking fire again because the hard feet meters were coming in, they were going to capture these people. And he held them off with with that 50, uh, 60, uh, M60. The uh, outcome of it was in the meantime I jumped in the helicopter. And we fly over, and we had a much better picture, of course. And we were taking fire, there's no question about it. But these these Navy helicopter pilots, they don't consider, they don't concern them. They weren't that bothered about it. it bothered me a lot, but uh, at any rate, uh, they were successful in suppressing the the NVN. <laughs> Blow up, but 
dumbest mistake I ever made was because this, the uh, voice call was leather neck one or two weather or something like that for the Marine. And he wanted to stay ashore and go in and try to uh, intercept the VC, or actually the NVN. Uh, I should have let him go, to be honest with you. By that time, communications had gone so bad, I was, although I never took tactical command, I was advising the Coast Guard commander what to do, and he had ordered back. I didn't counter matter. To this day, I regret that, because I think the Marines could have intercepted that, uh, that platoon, or company, I should say, of uh, North Vietnamese. Charlie might be able to add to that, but, that was essentially the one operation I remember more than any other. We took a beating on that as far as, as the casualties and the damages to the boat and so forth. But uh, the only one we actually lost was, uh, that was PCM-43. And uh, uh, we also fortunate enough that the UD team UDT team was on board here, and of course they were tremendously helping me fend off the North Vietnamese who were trying to come in here.